Hi, and welcome to our tutorial on getting our gears for our gear assembly loaded up into our laser engraver. So we're starting off in Inventor, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and open both of my gear files. Uh, I want to open them up just so that I can double check that they are correct. And also having them recently opened is going to make it easier for me uh, to go to our next step. Remember that if it's not in your most recently pinned files, not to panic. Um, you can always go to open and you can search through your files and it should be in here. Now, once I've opened up both of my gears, I am actually going to make a new file type and I'm going to do new and drawing. Now we made a drawing with our entire gear assembly, but for this one, I do want just the gears so that I can isolate them since they are the only thing that I'm going to be putting on the laser. For my own sanity, I am also going to change this sheet. So I'm right clicking on where it says sheet one and I'm gonna edit my sheet down to a size a4 paper. Um, that is our normal um, eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. On here, I'm also going to delete the ANSI box and the border so that I just have a blank sheet of paper. Now I can go ahead and click on base and this is where it's going to have be nice to have recently opened my gears because it is going to load my most recent file. So gear one, and I do wanna make sure that my scale here is one to one. So I can go ahead and click okay. I'll hit base again and I will then change my file so I can grab gear two. Again, it's super nice to have it as a recently opened file. And before I click okay on this one, I am going to adjust it. I do want to make sure that my gears are nice and close together, not touching or overlapping, but pretty gosh darn close. Uh, our material is just big enough to fit both of our gears on it. So we want to try and get them as close as we can get without actually touching. So just like that. Once I have these two loaded in my drawing, I'm gonna go ahead and actually export this as a PDF. And then I will use this PDF in Aspire. So that's my next step. I'm going to go to my start menu and then my applications. And we're going to load Aspire. Now, like we said before, since we're going to the 3D printer, having a super accurate material size when we create our new job is not the most important thing, uh, but we do still want to have an idea of just how large our material is. So I've got my piece of wood right next to me and just double checking that measurement. It is about four inches by four and a half inches. So that is going to be my height uh, is gonna be four and my width is going to be 4.5. So we've got uh, just a little bit of a rectangle. Once we've created the size of our material, we can then go ahead and open our file. Now, when we previewed this in class, we did do the import bitmap, but since we saved it as a PDF, that actually doesn't show up as a compatible file type. You'll see that these image files are only like BMPs, JPEGs, PNGs, or TIFFs, uh, so it doesn't show me my PDF. Instead, I'm gonna go to this button right next to it where it says import vectors, because that will actually allow me to select a PDF. So I'm gonna find my most recent one, so my Marshall gear, this one right here, and open that right on up. Now, the really wonderful thing about doing this as PDFs is that it will save and preserve the sizes exactly. So you can see as I put this on here, just how snug a fit this is gonna be. Um, so I do not want to rescale this at all. I want to leave this at the size that it is. And just to double check, as I am leaving it at this size, I can look right down here. I've got that circle selected, that interior, interior circle of my gear. When we made it, we made it to a diameter of 10 millimeters. Now this is in inches, uh, but as we look at it, that 0.325, 3925, if we were to Google search a millimeter to inch conversion, We've got 0.3925, and that is so, so, so very close to 10 millimeters. So that is actually the perfect size. Now, once we've got this here and fitting within our material, we are gonna go ahead and save this. Do save it twice. So the first time we go ahead and just do file save, so that it saves as a CRV 3D file. 
That way, if we need to come back and uh, edit it at all, we can open that CRV 3D and it's just going to open as an editable file here in Aspire. The second time we save it, we're actually going to export it to a DXF file so that we can take it over to our 3D printer. From here, you would go ahead and load this onto a flash drive and then on into the lab we go.